Hey YouTube, YouTube, back here with another motherfucking video. It ain't that much shit to talk about, so man, I'm gonna just talk about the uh, NBA Finals and shit. I will talk about the draft lottery for the NBA, but I don't really stay in tune with the college people and shit. But, but let's get into the NBA playoffs. So now we got the two conference finals happening right now as we speak. We got the Lakers and the Nuggets versus the goddamn Heat and the Celtics. First off, this is probably the probably the best playoff series. I'm talking about from round one to now I've ever seen in my life. Like ever. I ain't been allowed out there again that long. But if you could ask anybody, this has probably been the best series ever. From the Kings to the Heat to Milwaukee to New York to the Lakers. Like, first off, you got the defending champs, fucking, like, 6 seed. Like, 6 seed. Then you got them going against one of the best teams in the West, which is Sacramento. I think they was third seed. So, first off, the defending champs are underdogs. That's the first thing. And then you go to the East. You got the Heat. The Heat putting out Miami. Me, yeah, I said Miami. The Heat put, putting out the Bucks. What's so crazy about that? First off, Miami was in the playoff tournament. You know what I'm saying? The play in tournament. Second of all, they should never have been in the playoffs. Second of all, third of all, that nigga Giannis was in the MVP run. If he won first, second, well, we know he won the first, so he was second at least. So, that's to tell you a goddamn lot. Yeah, I know he missed 13 goddamn free throws, but they shouldn't have even been up three games either way. And then, you got Golden State going to game seven in the first round. Never seen that since they've been starting making this run with Steve Kernan. So you got to give it up for uh, the Sacramento because they played their ass off. I really wanted them to see them make it because I was thinking, like, go to State was going to give Lakers a run for their money. But, like, they did. Besides besides that one ball game, Lakers really had to advantage the whole series if you really think about it. And everybody was predicting whoever comes out that matchup is most likely is going to the finals. People said, fuck the Nuggets, fuck everybody else. And then you got to think about it. The Lakers went against the Grizzlies. I don't get how the Grizzlies was even the top team this year. The way they played in the playoffs, it was just so ass. I get LeBron had a new team and all that. I'm a huge LeBron fan, so don't get me wrong, but still. Y'all basically better let a new team come beat y'all. And y'all season just go to waste it just like that in the first round to the AFC that had to do a turn attack play in tournament. That's beyond crazy. And then another reason why this shit is weird. If you go back two years to 2020, the Western Conference Finals was the Nuggets versus the Lakers. And then in the Eastern Conference Finals in the bubble in 2020, it was Celtics versus the Heat once again. And if you watch my last video in the beginning, I said it's going to be a Lakers Heat rematch, bro. I said I've been telling everyone this, and it's been leading up to what I'm. I have guessed every series, almost every game, right this playoffs. I promise you. You can watch my last video. I just don't believe. Okay, if you're talking for real, it's either Lakers Heat in the finals, or. Nuggets heat. I don't see Celtics getting past Miami. Definitely if Jump Jimmy is on um, Tatum. Because Jimmy Bell is not like a flashy scorer, but he's an efficient scorer. He know how to score and how to score. You know what I'm saying? And that's scary. Somebody that could just attack the hole without no flashy moves and nothing. Just straight raw strength and Thoughts and shit. Shit is crazy.
But yeah, this is gonna be a little short video, so I'm gonna hurry up and finish this and do the little slow mo and finish talking about this playoffs and what I'm thinking. Nah, shorty got wop like Fetty. Bright when I love to get ready. Then I'm about Mr. Everything Daddy and shots to the eye now he looking like Fetty. Bitch, I be kicking out tall no butt. Shorty a daddy, she don't give a fuck. She be tweaking, she shaking her butt, and that boy is a cheater the way that he won. He dumb, he a pot. Bitch on my body, she tore him out cunt. You run, don't stop. You feel like how you get sent to the sun. He tried to diss him, we made him delete it. 41 and we still undefeated. Kid on the scene, make it hotter than Phoenix. Michael Jackson, she want me to beat it. She a patty and shorty can see that I told her I love her, but I do not mean it. But yeah, so if we talking about the finals, I believe... The Lakers and the Heat, that's, okay, I believe and I kind of, I do truly believe the Lakers and the Heat will be in the finals again. I don't, I kind of believe in the little coincidence and the conspiracies about shit happening on certain days because certain things happen, da 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 And like, LeBron James broke the record so he got to win this year, it's the bubble rematch, all this coincidence shit happened and all that. But when you think about it, it's like, you can never count Jimmy Bell out. These people count him out because they were doing so horribly in the beginning of the year. But if you know basketball, you know you cannot count Jimmy Butler out. That man is Jimmy Buggy for a fucking reason. And they do have a squad. They have a, they have people, you know, that score. But you got that nigga who just want to literally win, that's scary. Then the Lakers endeavor, I feel like I feel like um, okay with the Nuggets, they they full squad is healthy. They haven't had no injuries and nothing, so that's the that's the only really difference in between the years. So it's like okay, they played the Nuggets, and and that's the thing, the Lakers have played the Nuggets this year. I know without their full squad of their head at the beginning, at the end of the year. But it's like they played them before. They didn't have the same kind of team for the last three, four years. So it's like it's not something terribly new. And that's the reason why the Lakers could have an upside is because they have a new team. They plan a new way. And the only footage they really have of the Lakers' new team is really the playoffs. On the other hand, you got LeBron James. Fucking IQ is 10,000 and can read anybody plays and he played them before, you know what I'm saying? And the Lakers is one of the hardest teams to stop scoring wise and we shut them down. Curry 3 for 10, 3 for 13, Clay Horton, you don't even got to talk about it. Zero, Jordan Poole is 0 point. You know how hard it is. Stephen Curry and Clay Thompson, the greatest shooters of all time. They don't just miss shots because they not aiming right. No, they getting they got good defense on. You know what I'm saying? And people have said like, okay, but Curry still had like 27. Most of it came for the uh, paint. That's because we was giving it. Give him up in the paint. We was letting him score in the paint because we couldn't give up that three. Two threes throughout any other games could have changed the pace of the game drastically. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's so scary playing them. Cause one three, any three they throw up is just scary. You know what I'm saying? And so that's when it comes to the Nuggets. The way the Nuggets is going to have to win, they have to go shot for shot. And they're going to have to play good on transition because that's what the Lakers was bad on. And what the Lakers are going to have to try to focus on is Yaki is bringing Anthony Davis out, out the post, making him tired or making him stretch the floor. That's going to leave the hole open. So y'all going to have to, you know, put LeBron, Vanderbilt, or somebody on him while he's out there or something. You know what I'm saying? If the Nuggets go to the playoffs, I don't know. I mean, to the finals, I don't know. This is going to be 50-50 uh, uh, with the Heat and the Miami, I mean, Heat and Nuggets. 
if Lakers and Miami go, I don't know. I got, I got Lakers. And I got the Nuggets, too, if they go against Miami. But I just don't see the Celtics. I'm sorry. I just don't see the Celtics going to the finals. They're a good team, but if Jason Tatum's not scoring every game, it's just like, you know, who you go to depend on? Al Horford? Fucking Marcus Smart? Jalen Brown? You can't depend on him to drop 40 points in places, you know, Jason, Jason Tatum. Because he got to take his shots no matter what. But, man, yeah, like I said, ain't nothing to really talk about besides the goddamn finals. So, yeah, this is a little quick little episode or whatever. Smoke talk. This thing will be bad. These these go get better and shit. These little chill talk shit. These go get better. More interested and shit. Motherfuckers got to get their shit straight. You know about all that, man. But I, yeah, I see y'all, man.